In today's video, I've got five facts about the White Queen from the series Data Bullet slash a character analysis video. We will be going over Queen's bio, abilities, voice actors, some trivia, and more. Now, a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. And this video is a Patreon exclusive for quarter two of 2021, and a thank you for supporting me. If you're watching this in quarter three onwards, why not check out my Patreon page to see what exclusive videos are available right now. So, with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the facts. White Queen, also known as White Kurami, is the main antagonist of the series. She is the dominion of the third region in the neighboring world and said to be the greatest enemy to all quasi spirits. She made her debut in Data Bullet, Dead or Bullet and volume two of the light novel. Queen's birthday is unknown, but we do know that physically she is around 17 to 18 years of age. She is a female spirit who is just below average in height of a Japanese woman her age, standing at five foot one. Appearance wise, Queen is identical to that of Kurumi Tokasaki, albeit for her color scheme. She rocks the same twin tails, however, her hair color is a pure white. Her right eye is the same red tint as Kurumi's, whereas her left clock eye is blue. Attire wise, I really love the design of the White Queen. She is a woman of uniform wearing a white military dress, an admiral's cap with an emblem similar to that of the rising sun with a clock face at its center, white gloves and white heeled boots. Queen has what is known as a Demon King. This is the inverse form and counterpart to a spirit's angel. They are similar in appearance and ability, though altered from its angel. Queen's Demon King is called Lucy Fugus. Her astral dress is unknown and her weapons are a clock, a saber, and a flintlock pistol. Now, just like how Kurumi has different abilities depending on the bullet she uses, Queen is the same. However, some of her abilities are activated using her saber and others with her pistol. Lucy Fugus is a abilities are named after the 12 Hebrew zodiac signs and are as follows. Cancer Sword Sartan allows Queen to warp space time where she can either use it as an offensive move against her enemy or to protect herself against them. Leo Bullet Ari, this is a tracking bullet that devours space and is guided by the will of the White Queen. A white trail represents the devoured space and anyone or anything that comes into contact with either the trail or bullet will be shredded into pieces. Now, the downside side to this bullet is that the White Queen cannot move while using it as she must focus on her target. She also says that she dislikes using this bullet due to the noise that it makes. Virgo Sword Batilla is pretty awesome as Queen will create a crack in space time that allows her to travel between places. She mainly uses this to instantly travel between the different regions in the neighboring world. Libra Bullet Moz Name can reverse both cause and effect of anything that has happened within that space. Scorpio Bullet at Crab, so I'll talk about this a bit later in the video, but the White Queen has multiple personalities and it is all down to this bullet. These personalities of hers are kind of like a battery that is stored away and ready to consume, which will give her a boost in power. She can also use this bullet on empties, which turn them into chess pieces she can control. She did this when she gained her three personal executives, Rook, Bishop and Knight. Now those three are pretty interesting and a part of the Data Bullet story, the anime adaptation cut out. So I may make a video on them at some point. Anyway, back to the White Queen's abilities. Aquarius Bullet Tli is a bullet that can completely heal her target. Gemini Bullet Tiomim. This bullet was originally intended to create a copy of the White Queen. However, she was disgusted with how they looked, saying that they tarnished her image. So she modified this bullet so that the copies, though a lot weaker, were unrecognized recognizable empties, meaning she could create a lot more, making an artificial army at her control. Now, though she is very similar to Kurumi in appearance, power, and abilities, their battle styles are completely different. Where Kurumi's fighting style is an all-out barrage, Queen is more of a strategist. She utilizes caution through aggressive and intelligent strategies, knowing that she certainly has the power to back it up, and has spent a lot of time researching what her own powers are capable of, and has no problems in sacrificing sacrificing her own pawns to obtain victory. 
Queen's Japanese voice actor is Sayori Onishi. She has voiced other characters such as Eyes Valenstein in Don Machi, Hisako Aruto from Food Wars, Vignette in Gabriel Dropout, Miyuki Kujo from Shomin Sample, and more. Of course, at the time of the making of this video, we unfortunately do not have any news of a Data Bullet dub. I really hope we get one, and if we do, as always, drop her name in the comment section below. Personality-wise, Queen comes across as a regal monarch, a person of composure, excellence, and magnificence. However, this is all a facade for the real person that she is. Queen is in fact ruthless, merciless, and cruel. Her followers are nothing but sacrificial pawns in her eyes and will use them in such a way. She doesn't hide this side of her either. In fact, she takes pride in it. On the surface, she is charming, calm, and cheery. But she wears this mask translucently, as you can easily see her true self beneath it. Remember earlier when I was talking about her scorpion bullet acrab and that it led to her having multiple personalities? Well, she had used this on herself so many times that these personalities have started to blend together. An example of this would be in her unstable speech. Queen would talk, yet her manner of speaking would change mid-sentence. Queen has a total of six personalities and each of these personalities are in charge of a specific role. Overlord is her original personality. General looks after the fighting side of things. Lady corrupts and seduces the quasi spirits. Executioner, as you can imagine, specializes in execution. Agent takes care of the infiltration work. And finally, Politician takes command. It's interesting as these personalities are all capable of communicating with one another and will often plan amongst themselves which personality would be best suited for the task at hand. Of course, as you can imagine, there is a lot more about these personalities and I would really like to make another video about them. So let me know in the comments if this is something you would like to see. For me, it's yet another thing I wish Data Bullet had explored and though I loved the theatrical movies, I still think a 12 episode series would have done Data Bullet more justice. The White Queen was originally Kurumi's childhood friend, Sawa Yamauchi. And I've already said a couple of things that Data Bullet didn't deliver to us, but this one was really not covered that well at all. Well, in my opinion, anyway. In the anime adaptation, the White Queen was desperate for revenge, as it was revealed in the past that Kurumi had killed her, which led to her becoming the White Queen. Sawa confronts Kurumi about this, saying that you killed me, and Kurumi simply said, yes, I did. But there was so much more to it than that. Uh, yes, Kurumi killed Sawa, but she did it unknowingly. And I'll give you the short story as I do have a video explaining some of this already and I plan to make another going into it in more detail. Mio, the spirit of origin, was experimenting on humans by turning them into spirits. She had recently succeeded in turning Kurumi Tokusaki into a spirit and asked Kurumi to team up with her to destroy monsters. Unknowingly to Kurumi, these monsters were Mio's fail experiments and in fact humans. We found out that Sawa was one of these as she was given an incomplete Sephira crystal that turned her into a flame monster. In this form, Sawa didn't know what was going on or what just happened to her. She ran into Kurumi who shot her dead, not knowing that this flame monster was in fact her best friend. Following her death, Sawa's soul traveled to the neighboring world where she encountered an inverted Kurumi clone that was accidentally created when Kurumi found out Sawa was dead. The clone fused with Sawa's soul, creating the White Queen, born from a shared grudge against Kurumi. But thanks for watching. This is my video, five facts about the White Queen from the series Data Bullet. Let me know in the comments who you would like to see next quarter. As always, a huge shout out to you for supporting me on Patreon. You are a huge part of my journey and I couldn't do this without your support. Of course, if you're watching this video after quarter two, then why not check out my Patreon and join our awesome community. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch and Discord. Links are in the description and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.